stewardship committee decided that we wanted to use this poem that inspired us as we reimagine a new year in our church. We see the committee fair and the stewardship campaign as a time for us to unite and pray and prayerfully consider how we will use our time, talents, and treasures for God. So enjoy this poem by Sarah R. Reimagine Love by Another Way. I used to think that love was simple. You would know when you know what was meant would be, but I fell in love and it's not that easy. It's compromise and identity, mountains and valleys, apologies and memories, imbalance, recentering. It turns out love took reimagining. I used to think that church was simple. Church was community, not the walls, faith and hope mixed with call. But then the world grew violently sick and the way to be church was to keep distance. So doors were closed and people sent home. It was all love by another way. And yet it was not how we imagined Sunday. I used to think that justice was simple, that I could make a difference all by myself. There was a clear right and wrong, a way I could help. But then I learned of privilege and bias, of white savior complex in our church's silence. And all at once, it wasn't so easy. I needed to learn. I needed to listen. I needed to reframe my original vision. To love and give, to pray and be. But in order to grow, to follow God's lead, we have to do the work, reimagining. I guess what I'm trying to say is life will throw first drafts our way, the chance to dream, to lead, to sing. And despite our best efforts, love will fail, churches will close, justice will leave the vulnerable exposed, and when that happens, we must own our part, say we're sorry, and try to restart. So write it all down and write it again, a first draft, a second, an epilogue, and then share it with me and we will pray, and the spirit will move, and maybe one day we can write this world inside heaven's gate. For I am starting to believe that what matters in life will never be easy. So we must imagine and imagine again. We must dream and try, die and rise. And in our rising, may we see the next right reimagined thing until step by step we are home. Love by another way. Hi everyone, welcome. We are the Fellowship Committee. And we just want you to know that there are many, many facets to our fellowship committee. One of them is adventure. Yes, we do all kinds of exciting things. Have you ever been, had the opportunity to ride on a private car on the Long Island Railroad? We've done that to go into the city to get a private tour of the uh, Shakespearean Garden at Central Park. Another time we took the the train in and we went to the uh, Radio City Music Hall travel, uh, Christmas extravaganza and then out to dinner. It was a fascinating day and we plan on all kinds of fun things like that. Thank you. We also have sports. Yes, we do. And every summer we sponsor a trip to see the Long Island, uh, Long Island Ducks play baseball. We've even sung God Bless America during the seventh inning stretch. And the night always ends with a spectacular fireworks show. Another activity we've enjoyed is kayaking in the Setauket Harbor. And we hope to do that again another summer. Thank you. We also are full of culture. Sometimes we uh, work with other committees and we did this uh, for a big event that we had, the Mardi Gras. This was a while ago, but it was a wonderful time together. We had a band, we had dancing, we had prizes, and we had Louisiana food and a king cake. Everybody enjoyed themselves, and we raised about $3,000 for mission. So sometimes we also have a, a purpose. And uh, another event we had more recently was the Tex-Mex uh, event. And for this, it was appropriate for all different ages, we had a lot of children's games, we had a pinata, and uh, we had line dancing. So again, it was another time that we got together and um, had shared community. And of course, we're full of spiritual and physical nourishment. Yes, we all love to eat. So we have potluck dinners, we have the annual spirit stewardship 
brunch, and we've had welcoming and farewell luncheons. And as you can see, we are full of style. And style. We've had quite a few fashion shows. Um, one with local uh, establishments. One of the ones my favorite is the fashions of the decades. I was a flapper. Come and enjoy and see. Enjoy. Let's do this. Let's have another one. We also have artistry. Yes, and we've uh, painted. And if you don't know how to paint, we had someone come in and show us how to do it. And some of, um, some of the people have beautiful paintings that they display in their homes afterwards. We've also had Dancing with the Stars and had a lot of fun doing that. And now we have a personal um, presentation from somebody that would like to speak about how she feels about the fellowship committee and joining it. I love fellowship. I started with fellowship when I first started with the church and it was a wonderful way to get to know wonderful people. We worked together, we worked so well, we were creative together, trying to decide what we were going to do for the following year. And it's just, it just um, spread. Like, uh, I got to know so many more people, speaking from a personal point of view. And I think that um, you really should join us, whether you're a new member or an older member, we have loads of fun. Amen. The joy is in the work. Amen. 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 <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs>
This is the Peace and Justice Committee. You have seen photos of some of our events and projects in the last year. We are committed to finding new ways to work for peace and justice in the midst of the pandemic. The Emergency Assistance Fund was a joint venture between our committee and the Deacons. We have helped lots of families around Long Island who have been impacted by the pandemic. We believe that we are called to meet the immediate needs through actions like the Emergency Assistance Fund. We also believe that we are called to do long-term justice work. As part of our commitment to anti-racism, we are planning a screening of the documentary, White Savior, Racism in the American Church. Please join us as we live out our faith together. Welcome to the Adult Education Committee video. My name is Mae Halton and I'm the moderator of the committee. We are going to describe for you the various programs that are available to the congregation for spiritual growth and support. Um, my name is Beth and I'm very happy to talk to you about our adult education Sunday morning classes. <laughs> they take place uh, right after fellowship hour on Zoom about 11 to 12, and they'll be covering a variety of topics. We can give you a sneak peek to our first two programs. Uh, the first one is on Sunday, September 20th. Arlene Rogers is going to be leading us in selections from the book um, that is uh, called 70 Hebrew Words Every Christian Should Know. And then the following Sunday to the 27th, Peter Bond is going to be speaking to us about understanding climate change. And always all are welcome. Hi, I'm John Lesser, and I'm going to talk to you about the Tuesday morning Bible class led by Martha Porter. It's been going on now for almost 40 years or 40 years. Martha is an accomplished leader, and it's a drop in. You can come join us anytime you want. All you have to do is call May or Ashley to get up on Zoom an email to get in. Hi. I want to speak about the small groups. We have two kinds of small groups. Uh, one is a spiritual and fellowship that meets currently every Friday night at 7.30. Um, in the fall, we're going to reintroduce another time slot during the week. Anyone is welcome to come. You can come every week or once a month or whenever you would like to come. It's a really delightful evening. Um, the other group is there's small groups that started last year, um, or really the year before, and we met during the course of the year, either twice a month or once a month, and it was sort of a group that formed and you became close during that time together. And we're going to be reforming these small, these small groups again this fall. So hopefully you'll be interested in joining us. All are welcome. I'm going to talk about the book room. This uh, was started by Jeffrey Geary many years ago, and we've continued to enjoy lively discussions uh, that are now uh, run by the members themselves. Uh, we meet monthly on the third or fourth Thursday of the e month in the, in the evening at about 7.30. And everyone is welcome. There is no formal membership. You can come only occasionally or if you like regularly. Uh, <clears throat> we discuss both fiction and nonfiction. I also want to tell you about a new group called the Job Seekers Group that's being run by member Ron Loveland. And this is for people who are seeking new positions. Ron has great experience of doing this and he uh, ran such a group back during the Great Recession of 2008-9. Uh, it's just been started, had its first meeting. It meets on Fridays between one and two by Zoom. Uh, and um, that's monthly, the third Friday of the month. So those are the groups uh, that are also available for both uh, spiritual support, fellowship, and uh, information, and good times. So that concludes our presentation. The peace of Christ be with you. Hi.